here comes the big one. The one you've all been waiting for. The big enchilada. The grid on grid cereal bowl here against the fishes. In the back air football grid on grid cereal bowl that is to take place today between our Chicago Bears. 18-0 or 16-0 on the season. Going in against the 9-5 regular season fishes. 12-5 overall fishes. So, without further ado, let's get the roll on. And there is going to be a halftime show. No, it's not going to be a Madonna, but there's going to be a halftime show. And I'll let you listen to this intro. The lackluster intro. Where the two best teams in the BFL go head-to-head -head for the Backyard Football Championship of the World. We are coming to you from the Space Age Sports Stadium of the Future, the Gigantic Corp King Size Dome, the Chicago Bears versus the Amazing Fishes. I'm Sunny Day, along with Captain Concussion himself, Chuck Downfield. I can eat 40 hot dogs. Uh, that's great, Chuck. Thanks. It's good to see these players out here wearing helmets. I sure wish they would have had them back when I played. You can really mess up the old bell and play football without a helmet. Trust me. Wham, bam, pow! That's the sound of football! And it's also the sound of sugar-crusted gridiron grits! With crunchy simulated oats and sugary marshmallow-like bits, you'll feel like there's a football game in your stomach when you make gridiron grits a nutritious part of this complete breakfast. Gridiron grits and new pizza-flavored gridiron grits. Mamma mia! Now that's a breakfast cereal. Pizza-flavored cereal? That's a one spicy cereal, Sonny. This is what every backyard football player dreams of, the Gridiron Grits Cereal Bowl. A chance to be immortalized as the best of the best. Without further ado, it's time for some backyard football. Thanks for the insights, Chuck Downfield. I'm going to check you, Downfield. That stuff's going to get you fired. Waiting back at the you got 10 million Angela people watching the game, here. more than that. And you're babbling away about some On their own. feet yeah, you had and eating hot dogs. Go tell Jimmy, Joey Chestnut or Kobayashi that. We ain't want to hear it. So, we are not losing this game. I don't care what happens. This Oh, Reese Worthington's got great hands. He's up there with Maria Luna. Ernie Steele with the uh, hands of the league. So you better be aware of that guy. He will hurt you in the open field with some of those hands. He's not very quick, though. And we actually got a sack. And it's a little Vecchio. Oh. And so I would say we're the Patriots. You know, we are the Patriots of 2007. That They are the Giants. Squeaking into the playoffs, trying to take us down. So we don't want to allow that uh, history to be rewritten. And it looks like they're going to try to kick the field goal. Ain't going to let it happen. Jump it up. That is short, and we stuff them there in the first drive. So get it out to Aquaman. You got good hands. Beautiful. And they, the game plays so freaking fast on this turf. It's hard to know, uh, or it's hard to be able to control your players' movements, get away from the other team. I'm diving ahead. I ain't fumbling here. And they are blitzing heavily. Touchdown. A rushing touchdown in the Super Bowl. Who would have thunk it? Sydney Weber's my money, and I'm a feeling they're gonna block my stuff. So, oh crap! Either way, I was taken down, so that's not helping me out too much. Getting blitzed by man over there. There's a lot of empty seats in the stands. I don't like this. Is it a down year? Is it economy down? People that can't afford the big price Super Bowl tickets. I guess so. Look how much water or Gatorade they got over there. Oh, you're going to be chug-a-lugging for a long time. And Sidney Weber picks it off right in Worthington's face. Get that out of here. Oh, you son of a gun. Immaculate reception to the other team. Freaking Ahmed. Get your earphones off. And he's screwing up again, and the Fishes tie the game up. Ahmed Khan screwing up on both ends of the field. Yeah, get that out of here. I don't. And Reese Worthington's dancing in the backyard football for gamekeepers. And he's got pretty slick moves. I'm just going to say, he's pretty groovy. Try to get up there and block it, but they have the fishes have taken the lead. And I, I got to admit, I do not want to lose in front of all you YouTubes. Me losing, how did Jeremiah get the ball? Me losing on YouTube. Backyard football 2002, I would never hear the end of it. And I was just trying to get the ball out of the pocket. Or get the ball out of the backfield, get it to Sydney. I didn't want to get a sack. And I'm going to dial her up this time. 
Streaking down the near sideline. The 30, the 20, the six yard line. I disagree. And I'm just going to throw that one away into the tunnel. That's a weird spot for the tunnel. Usually it is behind the end zone. Whatever. And Ahmed, you better make this reception. That about burned a hole in your chest. It was so fast. Alright, so I'm going to dump this off to Ahmed again. You better make this catch. Thank you for making up for your past three mistakes. Six points for the Rockstar. And I'm going to make it a seven-point game now. Oh, where are you going? You thought you could get to big old Billy? Well, Billy's eight feet tall. She can see over your, your hands. She ain't no short one. We got a female quarterback here, the female president of the team. She's leading it awfully well as Bill makes a contested reception across the middle. A short play on the Gridiron Grid cereal bowl on this crazy turf, the greatest show on turf. Oh, it's loose and Ronnie Dobbs. Who else? They're recovering the fumble. Ronnie Dobbs has been all over the field all year, recovering fumbles for me. Akhman Khan's been there all year, not catching passes, but that time he does catch a pass. Now we got Sidney Weber. I'm going to throw that one away. That was actually dangerously close to an interception. Don't you ever say that to Sidney Weber. Leading the league in reception yards, Billy Jean Black would get a little steam on that. It's a little slow. Billy Jean Black with the rollout. Can she sneak in? What? Should I blink? Should I believe this? Billy Jean Black would know else. William Frigerator Perry rushing into the end zone will make it 14 points, and that's not happening. Jeremiah, get on your face. He just lost a tooth there. He got battered by that bulldozer that came streaking into Ronnie Dobbs there for the special team tackle. No. And could we recover it? No, we couldn't. Ahmed Khan is too tuckered out. He couldn't move on the greatest show on turf. The good on Grits Field. And this is a deep ball. Nobody is there to make that play. Look at that press box up there. Sydney, sunny day better be up there. Well, that's a missed tackle by Jorge. What a surprise. But Angel DeVecchio is there to make a play in the backfield. Doesn't happen all that often. Happening there, though. And not this time. Jorge Garcia is not missing that tackle. So we actually get to return to punt. I'm going to switch up with Ronnie Dobbs. I'm going to leave us slow right now. Ronnie picks it up. And Dobbs ahead. We got to about the 39-yard line there. So we're drawing a little swinger action going. Get in the air, Sidney Weber. I had you dialed up for six points, but you disagreed there. You want you want to get my uh, passing attempts higher. That's what it is. And no touchdown for her, but big yards for me. It's all for the team. Can we get it to Jorge Garcia? Not risking it there. Oh, Baldy, you standing up already? That's the student section. Is that so? Ahmed Khan catches the ball, and that's six points. 26-7 game. We are burying them in the early going now. Ahmed and Sydney. Both at receiving touchdowns. And I'm covered in all areas. Oh no. You better not run that back. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to convert there, but they didn't go and get two points himself. So that is a bouncer. I'm mistaking it for an onside kick. Sean Payton here on the onside kick at the Super Bowl. And I'm not feeling good. Oh, Sidney Weber, I was trying to lay out. Look how many empty freaking seats. It's like, are the tickets so expensive, or are these teams just not supposed to be in the uh, championship? We're breaking John Shula's record. We got a lot of Dolphin, uh, ex-Dolphins about to break some champagne, and I'm blitzing. I'm scaring the crap out of them. And I, uh, there's no rush, but they felt the need to throw the deep ball there. I'm going to go with chain link action. They are going to punt, though. Do not fumble. Whatever you do, do not be touching that. Okay, so we're going to play this one safe. Try to get it out to Sidney Weber. And that could have been disastrous. I feel a lot closer to the end zone than the 12-yard line. I'm not liking the vibe of this. Oh, my goodness. Sidney Weber, we're setting us up for disaster. I'm not going to take a risk here. I'm just going to probably run this run out of bounds. And uh, deja vu. Yes. So I'm going to let you guys watch this uh, crazy, wacky rendition of whatever they call it. It's not contemporary dance. It's just uh, little kids digging out. I'll see you in a little bit.
I love how Aquaman's still stuttering because he's tired. <laughs> Get him out of there! What the heck was that? Well, Chuck, as most of our viewers at home could see, it was an abstract interpretation of the finer points of the Arthur Presidency. All I saw was a bunch of kids wigging out. Yes. Well, <clears throat> let's get back to the game. I would for once agree with what Chuck Donfield just said. A bunch of kids Aquaman wigging out. I mean, they're in the, the middle of the game of, of, of their lives, and, and they're somehow out. dancing together. The they have the time to the choreograph that. What is the uh, the media going to say about that dance? If they ever pull that off in real life in the Super Bowl, people would be up in arms. But it's kids, so it's apparently cute. It ain't cute to me. These are... See, I, I, I have boosters. I got Ponzi schemes going on here to get non-children playing. They're, these guys are really 25-year-olds playing against little kids. That's why I'm dominating. And Sidney Weber is dominating. Another touchdown for her. Another touchdown for Billy D. Blackwood. 150 yards for her so dial, dial up her again Jorge Garcia I'm sorry you're getting ignored but you ain't just offering me that much you're a little slow on the outside and I can pass your uh, cornerbacks but they're coming to you like a blanket so Angela Levesque is going to boom that one out of the back of the end zone maybe not and Lola's there to uh, reel it in that's a fumble oh and if he went to the big house I would have had it with the backyard football creators this game because how many times have I got burned on plays like that? Other team fumbles, they pick it up and go to the uh, go for six where I would have stopped them normally. And that is a pick by me. If I've ever seen it. Reese Worthington easily goes down in most cases. So, Oh, two guys there. Somehow Reese Worthington, little short man, reels it in. So loose change, I'm going to be blitzing in this. This is not happening here. And oh, little extracurricular activities there as everybody goes flying at each other. I keep seeing like uh, something outside, and Jorge Garcia, I don't know why the heck I ran it on the end zone. I screwed myself over there. Might end up punting. Oh, and Sydney Weber with the play of her life, breaking the tackle in the end zone. A la Tom Brady getting a safety in the end zone in the real Super Bowl, and that is not a high percentage pass there. Obviously trying to get it away, but um, if you want to complete a pass, don't throw it in direct line with yourself. Sydney Weber's there again, icing the third quarter for success with the uh, for our team, breaking a tackle in the end zone, and Billie Jean Blackwood's on a rollout. She dives across the middle. Look at the look at that length. Her wingspan's like an eight footer. Anthony Davis, much? Sydney Weber on the outside, and she can be going to the big house again. Oh yeah, 239 yards. That's got to be a freaking record. Move over Joe Montana, Billy Jean Blackwood's there for Super Bowl history. And Angela Devecchio gets herself in the Instagram column. I just wanted to do that for her enjoyment, giving us a huge 34-point uh, lead here. With 106 seconds left to go, which you would think would be a secure victory. Ronnie Dobbs, turnover creator, machine, chipping into, and I'm just like throwing the ball up in the air now. I'm not even... Didn't even execute at all one bit on that play. And I might try to get Jeremiah in for a reception of his own here in this game. Definitely going to get Jorge in uh, for a reception. And I'm going to try it right now. We're going to switch Jorge and Ahmed. Hey, now. We're going to switch things up a little bit. Trying to get Jorge a reception with what am I? See, he's the, uh, the receiver that will, um, his little out route here. And it doesn't work there. He's going to have three more opportunities, though. Get your hands up! Catch it like you're, uh, someone's throwing a pile of laundry at you. Thank you, Jorge. Look how many shadows are created by that one field goal. That's a little, that's a little excessive there. Don't think there's that many shadows. Just saying. So Jorge Garcia with his one reception of the game. But it's a touchdown for him. So he's going to remember this one. He's going to put it in his trophy case if he has one. And he gets two-point conversion as well. So we got 49 points. And we are just bowling all over these guys. Let's see if we can break 60. Or did we break 60 in the first round against the Cowboys? I'm going to have to check that. But otherwise, this would be the first time. And it's not happening there. And they pick another fumble up. Of a kick return. They're just fumbling left and right on the kick returns. Turnovers for Killia. Reese Worthington's going to kill me too. And he's going to the house. He's saying nay. My hopes of shutting them down in single digits. The rest of the team for the Fishes has been uh, squandered 
their opportunity on offense, but Reese Worthington's really having a showing. Oh, and he got in Reese Worthington's way, preventing them from two points that they desperately need. So it's still a 36-point game. Randy Dobbs there to receive it, and he actually catches it on the fly for once. What a remarkable play. So I'm going to Jorge Garcia again, him, get him more into the game. And what the heck just happened there? Immaculate reception again? I'm having enough of those immaculate receptions. And we're going to switch things up, get those guys some action, see if they can't get a reception to have a um, moment they will remember forever and ever. Instead, we get it to Sydney Weber, like usual. She's on the near sideline. I'm going to step out there and give my other guys an opportunity to make a reception here. I guess that one's not happening as I took somebody out on the bench. Get your teeth checked. You might have just lost a tooth. And a Ronnie Dobbs. What else do I have to do to put it on a silver platter for you? Oh, and Ronnie Dobbs is as slow as freaking molasses. So we're going to have to dial up Sydney Weber here because I'm getting 60 points. Oh, mother. I forgot about my duties in running away from the pitch. So not a sack for Angela Vecchio. She hasn't come through very often on sacking opponents behind the line of scrimmage. But she does um, slow him down. And Reese Worthington's trying to make it somewhat respectable for him. The amazing fishes who are not looking so amazing today. And that's a fumble Ruski. Craig with the big fumble recovery to save uh, the fishes from embarrassment. And that's a sack for Angelo Vecchio. Speaking of not sacking, coming through there with a big boom hit. And another sack? No! Instead, Amy breaks away across the middle and Octomed's there to shut her down before she goes too far. They're going to go for it on fourth down. But it's going to be too little too late regardless of the score. And Octomed's there to reel that one in for a pick. And we're going to get it to Sydney Weber, see if she can't it score a touchdown hot. for us. And there's one second left on the clock. Should I go for six or should I dial it up deep? I'm going to dial it up deep one time. More. No, it's not going to work. Even if she were to catch it, things wouldn't have worked out. And look at that ball floating in the air. That's freaking crazy. It doesn't get much better than this, Sonny. This game is presented by the authority of the Backyard Football League. Any unauthorized reproduction, rebroadcast, or redistribution of this broadcast without the express written consent of Humongous Entertainment and the Humongous Sports Network is strictly prohibited. What's up? Prohibited. For Chuck Downfield and all of us here at no the comment. Backyard Football League, this is Sunny Day saying so long from the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. See you next season. We're going to want the Riesel, whatever wonderland it's called. So we dominated this game, and we are champs. We are the Great and Grit Serial Bowl champs, everybody. I hope you are as jubilant, joyous as I am, jovial, jocular, whatever J adjectives you can come up with, because we have steamrolled the fishes on our way to a 49-13 beatdown, similar to the Niners beatdown of the Chargers. I don't remember exactly what score it was. But it seems similar um, in the Super Bowl. But we have done it, and thank you for following me through the season. It was a dominant season. We went 17-0, securing a uh, number one seed and in our conference, front year conference, and easily making it through the playoffs. So that was a close one against the Redskins. 427 yards total passing. Got a touchdown for each of my primary targets in the offensive end, even from Billie Jean Blackwood, and everyone chipped in and came through. So I'm going to let you guys watch as we go through this uh, press release, February 10, 2012. Bears win the Cereal Bowl. Unstoppable. The Chicago Bears are the backyard champions of the world. The Bears won the super colossal Cereal Bowl. See, they call it two different things. It's screwing me up. 49 to 13. Brock said afterwards, we're going to Walter Weasel World or something. And exactly what I said, actually. I, I kind of uh, hinted that, apparently, without knowing my previous comments. So I'm going to let you guys watch this and enjoy it. And then I'll say goodbye to you for one final time after that. My gosh, that is a travesty. Did I just see it? MVP? Oh, I'm just going to puke in my lap. He did nothing.
That's also not very true at all. Alright, so we're done with that, and the tears are being shed because of joy and sadness. We've clinched the title, we are the BFL champions. Look at our trophy case and the shiny medal that we've received. At following our Front Yard Conference Championship, our Front Yard Conference Central Division Championship, and now the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl on February 12, 2000, or February 10, 2012. All the records for our players, all the awards, all the wins, all the games. And thank you for following me through this Backyard Football 2002 season playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This won't be it for my Backyard Sports Series games, though, as I'll be playing um, a Backyard Sports game to represent each sports season in real life. So with the Super Bowl just ending and with our season just ending, I'm going to continue on with the Backyard Basketball original. So you guys will be watching that, obviously, with Star Fox and Renegade. But um, for my next uh, Backyard projects, in the spring, starting in March, or actually before that, starting later February, once I get um, get done with Star Fox, whenever I get done with Star Fox, I'll be jumping into backyard hockey. Then following that, at some point, I'll be starting um, backyard football or backyard soccer, the original, or backyard baseball, the original. So that is on the list. And obviously, for my next backyard football game, I'll be doing the backyard football, the original, because I figured out a way to record it, which will be good as well. So thank you for following me through the season. Once again, 49-13 beat down against the Fishes in the uh, Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. I will see you guys in my next season. Adieu. See you later.